Hi, Dushyant. <laughs> Welcome to this feedback interview session. How are you doing today? Yeah, thank you, sir. I'm good. And how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. So how's life going? All good? Yeah, all good. It's going. Ups and downs are always there. So, yeah. Great. It's good. So for the viewers who are watching this video, Mr. Dushan, he has more than 15 plus years of experience into IT networking and related industry. He is currently working with HCL as a senior network engineer or L3 network engineer. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about his experience during our training and a general discussion how beginners, experienced candidate can learn from his experience. So hi, hi Dushan, welcome uh, to this feedback session again and let's get started. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Sure. So can you a little bit tell us about yourself and your background into the IT industry, please? Uh, yeah, sure. So I have total 15 years of experience. And it is a mix into the network, security, then designing. So I started as an L2 engineer. Then uh, we were working on the routing, switching and security part. Then it was, I worked on the uh, data center switching part as well. Then moved to the pre-sales role. So it, it's a kind of, I have worked on different, different roles. Uh, after pre-sales, it was more going towards the people management stuff. Uh, because I was having around 9 to 10 years of experience. So um, it was the expectation that I'll be leading some team. So it was more going into the people management. Then I realized uh, that I should not lose the, lose the technical touch. So I started uh, getting uh, prepared for the trainings and I contacted, you know, um, Amrita. And so I get the motivation to, uh, to do, uh, to prepare for CCI. And after getting the CCI done, uh, I worked as a designer, as a network uh, architect, and now moved to the L3 role okay. into operations. So, so what all courses so you have far. completed with iMedita? So I start. I came to iMedita for checkpoint uh, firewall training. So there, I completed around one and or one and a half month of training. And it was a good knowledge gain uh, in terms of uh, you know the checkpoint firewall. Then I got uh, motivated, or I was in, uh, I was told that uh, it's good to go for CCI, and I I knew the value of the CCI at that time. So um, I enrolled for those classes, then prepared for it, and the journey was smooth. So CCI is a journey actually. We cannot call it a certification or something like that. It it's a journey where you learn many things. You know, not only technically, but uh, it, it will enhance uh, uh, us personally as well. So, Great. so you started this checkpoint training and CCI security training in 2018-19, if I'm not wrong. Uh, yes, correct. And you passed CCI security certification in first attempt or? Uh... No, no, it was the second attempt. So... Uh, so I failed in first attempt, but uh, I got a good support from Amrita for the lab preparation after the failed attempt as well. So, uh, and it was good that I passed in the second attempt. So it was a nice experience. And now you are preparing for CCI enterprise infrastructure, right? Yeah, correct. So after doing the CCI, the expectation was that, you know, uh, that I'll be preparing some good solutions. So I had to study a lot more about different technologies as well, like virtualization, uh, then some other uh, SDN part as well. So uh, then, and I had we have to work on the routing and switching part as well. So as a solution architect, I was working on the WAN infrastructure. So I thought to learn all these technologies, uh, you know, more uh, deeper. So again, I enrolled for the CCI enterprise infrastructure and. Yeah, training is completed. Now, hopefully, I'm looking for forward to book the lab. Yeah, yeah, correct. So, because you are already CCI certified, you did CCI in 2019, your first CCI. So, that time, what kind of preparation approach you took for CCI preparation on 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 daily basis? How much time generally you you were spending for the preparation? Yeah, so I prepared it along with the you know office hours. So, I I so I. Uh, I, I tried to find a uh, good, uh, I mean, a proper slot for me because there are different, you know, uh, there are different timings of the, for the trainings. So the one suited me the most was the evening slot. So I enrolled for six to uh, nine or six to eight batch. So after office, I, uh, after office, I had to rush for this training 
so it was yeah it was you know it was a very busy uh, schedule at that time but i enjoyed it very much at that time because and i now... was gaining some knowledge mm-hmm. yeah and when you gain some knowledge so se- the level of satisfaction is you know it is more so once you learn something you will feel good so that is the motivation which uh, took me to you know to get to that uh, busy schedule right and now for the second cci are you finding it little easy or you are taking same approach now as well yeah well, i can say it is see see it is a journey so every day we have to log in and uh, do the online classes so now my i, I am with a different organization and the working hours are again different so again i contacted mr sugan and you know try to find out a good slot for me <laughs> so it was the morning this time i had to wake up early and join the uh, atm batch so yeah. though it was online this time but i did not feel any difference uh, you know uh, the uh, the class training and the online trainings so we can discuss whatever doubt we have whatever questions we have we can uh, easily ask the trainers and it was a good training with uh, surendra sir uh, for the enterprise infrastructure so as a working professional how did you manage to balance your work life and your training schedule so i just made one rule that when i'm in training i am in training when i am in office i am in office so yeah obviously we do discuss the uh, things in the training when we are working uh, in the uh, you know on the technical solutions in the office but yeah obviously so we we have to manage something like that that we have to attend the classes and do the practice in the evening and in the between the classes and uh, the evening practice because gaining knowledge is one thing and practicing it is very important otherwise we will forget things we, mm-hmm. we have a tendency to forget things if we don't practice so how i managed is morning time i had a uh, book for i had uh, scheduled for this training then evening for the practice and uh, day time is obviously the office time is yeah. and uh, can you share any tips or strategies uh, that help you stay focused and motivated throughout this training process it it's good to have a timetable actually so it's good to have a timetable to divide our uh, you know our early basis time uh, for some training and study because uh, trainings or studying or gaining knowledge is very much important while working as a professional because mm-hmm. on a day to day demand uh, you we are expected to deliver some you know deliver some technical stuff so and as we know that technology is changing at a very fast pace so learning is the only way we can excel right now because you have 15 years of experience you have taken a lot of interviews you might have given couple of interviews you started as a fresher 15 years back so what advice would you give to someone who is starting their career uh, into networking security and kind of cyber security domains uh yeah sure so studying is one part and implementing that study is a, is another part so what we will study is something we will study out of the business hours or the office hours and we obviously will be implementing the what we have studied uh, during our office jobs or the roles whatever we are performing in the office so i would advise us to stick to the basics uh, because basics are, is something which uh, which is the fundamental thing so it will make uh, the base strong and when we have the base strong we can uh, move to any technology we can learn any uh, new technology because all the new what i have seen during these uh, days or the, during past experience that anything any new technology is based on the basics only okay. so if the basics are clear then uh, we are we should will be fine with the new technology as well and it will be easy to understand the new technologies if the basics are good so my suggestion is to get strong in the basics yeah great and based on your experience because you are taking continuous training with us since 2018 19 so how would you rate our quality of training services uh, on a scale of 10 i would rate 10 out of 10 because you know 
i meta has helped me to so, uh, i enrolled for the training and after that it was a uh, growing path for me in in terms of career so i've been growing since i am associated with imrata because you know it has helped me gain knowledge and obviously gaining knowledge has ex- has helped me excel in my career so how you got to know imrata initially when you took checkpoint classes first how you got to know us yeah so at that time role was going more into the people management and i have seen some team members were uh, doing some trainings so i contacted them i asked them about where which institute they have enrolled for so uh, at that time i got to know about the emirata then i did my own research online so and i found it uh, yeah, as good and after the checkpoint uh, training i got some confidence that yeah uh, i should go for cci with emirata and do you so have a suggestion for us on how we can improve our training in future so it's going good as of now so and the good part is how you you know how you adapted to this corona time so how you quickly uh, uh, managed to for the online trainings because and now as the training landscape has changed everyone is looking for some online trainings or some online videos uh, to start with so that is a good uh, change uh, you know or uh, a quick adapt adaptation what imrita has done so i am impressed with that as well so and if you are good are to good. change if if we are good to change with the flow then yeah obviously uh, we will excel yeah right right and would you recommend our courses to your other friends or uh, in your network it network yeah obviously why not so i have already recommended uh, many folks uh, to enroll for uh, some courses technically and after doing cci i am what i uh, one change i see in myself is i have been motivating people to get trained actually so <laughs> i motivate people to study to gain knowledge to get trained so and obviously i made is the first one if i have to recommend to anyone Thank you Dushan thank you for giving us your valuable time we wish you all the very best for your second CCI certification journey and we are sure we'll get the good result very soon Yeah thank you sir hope so thank you very much thank you have a good day